Alright everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we will be showing you how to get a large spike for your turnip prices in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is a very, very easy process. I streamed this yesterday and I got it on my first try. And I didn't get in the second try, but I got on the third try, so with about 41 minutes of playing the game, I got two different times of getting a large spike. So it is a very simple process. I'm going to show you very quickly, um, as quickly as I can. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you are going to be time traveling. Just heads up. Sorry <laughs> if you don't time travel, but find a friend who does. Um, so you're going to be time traveling, just go to any Sunday, and then the next thing that you're going to need is obviously Turnip Profit. Um, it's the website that everyone's using. Um, the settings that you're going to have, um, I'll throw this up on the screen. It's going to be, are you a first time buyer? Uh, hopefully you aren't. Um, if you are, I'm not sure what the settings are going to be like, so I'm not a first time buyer and I feel like most people aren't a first time buyer. So the first time buyer is going to be no. Previous pattern, put I don't know. Because as soon as you go back in time, it resets whatever you had done in the past. Like it just, you could have had a small spike last week, and as soon as you go back in time to this sun, the Sunday that you're going to be doing this on, or if you go forward in time, then you'll know, and that'll actually be a lot easier. But in this instance, we're going back in time to a Sunday, and we'll reset it. It makes it a lot easier. No different outliers. So, but as I don't know, and those are the two settings you're going to have. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find Sally Mae. Oh, there she is. Cool. Wow. Found that pretty quickly. So, you're going to talk to her. 107. Cool. So, you're going to put that in your Sunday's price. 107. And I think it's pretty much always the same percentages. So, fluctuating, 34.6%. We have small spike, 25.9, large spike, 24.7, and decreasing, 14.8. From my experience, these percentages have always been the same if you start off with no for first time buyer and I don't know is your previous pattern. So that's all you really need to know. I'm not going to buy any turnips because I will be going back and forth in time. And then now what we're going to do is you're going to see if you entered this in your term turnip profit that your first chance at a big spike is all, if you're going to use this method, it is always the first chance going to be your Tuesday PM. That is always going to be your first chance at a possible high spike. And with our 107 turnips, we have anything from 27 to 642. So we can get anywhere up to 642 bells per turnip, which is pretty good. Uh, yesterday, our first large spike was, I think, 295. And then our last uh, big spike was 508. I streamed that, put it on Twitter, a lot of people came. They made their money. Yeah. Shameless plug. Uh, I did show this on my live stream yesterday. It is twitch.tv slash pixelxkitten. Feel free to follow. I actually do stream every single time I get a large spike, which is fairly often. Um, here I'll put up the four, four or five, I think, different, um, large spikes that I've streamed. They're not all super amazing, but... Good morning, Butterpup. I guess afternoon. Alright, now we're gonna go back to the store. See what the nooklings are going to give us today. Alright, current price is 145. I want to put that in my turnip profit for the Tuesday PM. And it says we have a 68% for fluctuating 20.3 small spike and 11.1 .1 large spike. And our only chance for a large spike is Wednesday PM. So what we're gonna do is actually I'm just gonna leave. Cause you don't need to save this part. I didn't do anything else. So I'm just gonna go straight 
to Wednesday p.m. Now I do plan on making this video a straight, just like from the beginning to a large spike. So if it takes us one try, perfect. If it takes us three tries, all right. If it takes 10 tries, okay, it's gonna be a long video. But I wanna show you guys just how easy it is, just from picking up the controller to doing this method to the result of getting a large spike. And if you don't like how uh, the price of your turnips in your large spike, like my first large spike yesterday while streaming was 295 and was like, and I, was, I actually thought it was a small spike, but it, uh, I saw that it actually said it was a large spike. Um, I'm not sure what the cutoff, cutoff is for the small spike to a large spike, but I was like, oh, that's not good enough. And so that's why I did it again. We got, I think we got fluctuating. Oh, we got a campsite visitor. Um, and then the next time we got was 508, so just keep doing it, honestly. Alright, little raccoons. 197. Okay, so we didn't get it. Let's see what we got. I'm just gonna put it in. I think it's fluctuating. Oh, we got small spike. Okay. Well, better than nothing. So first try was small spike. And that's okay, because you know what? Well, actually, <laughs> I'm gonna go see who my campsite villager was. <laughs> see if I want them really fast. Nope. All right. <laughs> so you're just gonna close your software. You're gonna reset your turn at profit, and you are going to go back in time, and you're gonna do the exact same thing all over again. I knew it. Are you serious? <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find her. Why you do this? Alright, second time charm. 105. So we're gonna put that into turn it profit. So yep, same percentages. Alright. No, thank you. And as we can see, we have a 27 to 630. That is our span. On Tuesday PM, that's our first one that we could possibly get. A large spike. So here we go, Tuesday PM. Alright, so it's Tuesday afternoon. Let's see what the no queens say. Because uh, even if you have a like 0.1% of a large spike after Tuesday afternoon, keep trying. Because we're skipping like the all, all the other days. So turn a profit isn't like gonna be a hundred percent accurate. Alright, one twenty four. Definitely not decreasing. All right, so we actually have the same percentage as last week, or quote unquote last or last time. All right, let's see what our Wednesday PM price is. <laughs> One oh three. Okay, so we didn't get it. Let's see what we got. Probably fluctuating. Yeah, we got fluctuating. Cool. All right, that's fine. So. We're just gonna go back. If anyone is interested in seeing how I got it uh, twice in pretty much 40 minutes, I can link my Twitch channel below. I'll probably separate that video, the last stream I did too. Not into a highlight, because that's gonna be a 40 minute highlight. Probably just uh, clip it. So you can see, like, it is possible to get it done first try, third try, but it also could take, potentially, ten tries. It's all random. More often than not, I do find her in front of my museum. <sighs> Why are you always here? <laughs> 100? I don't think I've actually ever had that. So we're gonna put that in turnip profit. And see that again, same percentages, and again, your first chance of getting a large spike is Tuesday PM. They really want me to buy that bed. 164. So we have 
with 164, we have a 63.4% of a small spike and a 36.6% of a large spike. And our only chance of that large spike is Wednesday a.m. All right. Timmy and Tommy, third time is the charm. Give me some good news. Come on, buddies. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, that's okay. So we got the small spike. That is okay. Because we are just gonna do it again. Okay, here she is. What you want, girl? 93. So put that for your Sunday price. Save, because I picked up some stuff. Pressing left on the beat pad. There we go. Cool. 102. 102. Alright, so we still have a chance. Ooh. So it's, it's the same thing. 68.7% fluctuating, 20.3% small spike, 11.1% large spike. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Come on, boys. I want to end this video. I want to turn my AC back on. 50? You won't. Fluctuating. Bastards. That's alright. That's alright. I was always told that fifth time's the charm. So if you do start this off on a Sunday that you haven't time traveled back towards, it does give you like percentages on what your chance might be on getting a large spike. So if you had, oh well, let's see, they have them different in the in the guide. They're called normal, sudden spike, gradual decline, and gentle spike. So normal, I would assume, is fluctuating. So it says if you had uh, fluctuating that your chance of a large spike is 30%. If, uh, and that's just right off the bat, not including like the Sunday's turn of prices or anything like that. If you uh, did have a large spike the previous week, you only have a 5% chance of getting one again. If you had decreasing, you'll have a 45% chance of getting a large spike. And if you had a small spike, you have a 25% chance of getting a large spike. And that's according to the official companion guide. Um, not sure if there's any data mining on that. Wow, you're right there. All from, all from the beginning. 110. Outrageous price, my man. Nope. Just want to confirm. Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon. Ooh. Oh, no. Gotta save. 28 to 660. So it looks like 660 is our potential maximum. It's pretty cool. <gasps> Good morning, Amelia. You look amazing in that coat. It's almost like someone awesome gave it to you. <laughs> 72. So we still have... Oh, no. Large spike be gone. Wow, I've never seen that happen. Okay. Well... <laughs> At least they didn't waste my time. How did I get it the first try on stream yesterday? And now we're on try number six. I hope I'm gonna have good luck today too, Isabel. I'm gonna have so much mail at the end of this. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Are you? I've given you everything you could possibly ever want. How dare you? And just to prove that he's gonna is gonna be moving. See, for everyone who's gonna be like, he's gonna be giving you a gift. Uh, no, you're not leaving. I, 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 I just can't. Can't with you today, thing. Oh, it's Sunday. I should be looking for. Oh, okay. It looks like my horoscope says I was gonna be lucky too. 94 bells. Don't mind if I do. Alright, 94. When I'm assuming the first chance of a spike is Tuesday afternoon. Indeed. Uh, our potential maximum is 564. Starting to feel a little bit like Groundhog Day over here. 
and a campsite villager around. Well, if we can't get the large spike, maybe we can get a cool villager. Alright. Priorities first. Ladies. Sir. Alright, gentlemen. What is it? 70? Let's see what that's gonna be. So we still have a potential... Oh, okay, so 45.2% uh, decreasing, 43.3% large spike, and 6.64 fluctuating, 4.91 small spike. Um, so our next potential one is Thursday AM. We are going to go ahead and see who our campsite villager is because I get easily distracted and you know I just can't go to sleep without knowing. Oh, it's Cookie! <gasps> we obviously have to get her. She's so cute! Let's see if I can get as lucky as I did with uh, Buck yesterday. Um, I got him to move in without playing a game. And uh, he picked Mira on the first try. Oh, I freaked out on stream. I think I actually made it a highlight. <laughs> oh, stay. I get better when people just move in without a game. Don't be the four. Oh, why, why, why? Uh, bow, 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 bow. Watch her pick like my favorite villager. If she chooses one of the cats, I'll leave. The legit worst. No, Cookie, no. Okay, ask Piper, Flora, Amelia, or Robin. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do it. Sorry, Robin. I actually really like Robin, but I think Cookie's cuter. I'm so sorry, Robin. Aw, now Piper's all alone. My little lesbian birds. No. Alright, thanks, Cookie. That was a nice little detour. <laughs> Back to the turnips. Alright, Thursday. Let's get I'm so sorry, Piper. I'm so sorry. I took your girlfriend away. I'm so sorry. Robin is so cute too. I'm sad. But I wasn't about to go through that again. We're not here to do the campsite method. We are here for turnips. Ooh, I want that screen. <gasps> Gasp. Turn. 59. Okay, okay, okay. So it's Thursday AM. I think that means it could be decreasing still in it. So with that, we have a 78.8% decreasing, 18.9 large spike. Don't care about the rest. So our last chance is Friday PM. Ah, oh, you break my heart. All right, I don't even have to look. I know that's decreasing. Oh, oh, hello. All right, 98 bells. Oh, I forgot to reset my turnip. Reset. Okay. 98. There we go. All right, Tuesday PM. What a surprise. Is that the same screen? I think it's the same screen I bought. Do I have the pinball machine? I think I do. All right, back on track. What are they, boys? 72? Alright, so our next chance of our large spike, which is a 39.7. So we have the same percentage as last time. Uh, Thursday AM. So it's the same thing. So I'm actually just gonna... Alright. Let this be the last one. Please. Wow, tables, you don't see many of those. <laughs> Please! 62. I think that still means I have a chance of decreasing. Yep, so very high chance of decreasing, but I have one last chance, Friday PM. <laughs> 
One more try. <laughs> Why do they hate me? Alright. Is it, is it Friday PM? Friday PM. Okay, good. Let's go, Nuckleans. You've disappointed me six times this time. <laughs> this video. <laughs> Don't make it a seventh. Oh, look at that! We did it! <laughs> so, it's not a fantastic price. 341 is not that high. Alright, so Friday PM, 341. And so, we got the large spike. Excellent job, everybody! <laughs> Only took seven tries! Yay! <laughs> um, so... Let me see if I can explain this best I can, like TLDR. So, really fast instructions, right? Go back in time. I really, really think you should go back in time because it will reset everything. Um, it'll give you a better, uh, in my opinion, it just gives you like the, like the best, you know, no outliers. Just start off going back in time to a Sunday. Doesn't matter what Sunday. Put in your turn at profit that you are not a first time buyer as long as you are not a first time buyer, right? So don't just, have bought turnips at some point before and then put I don't know as the previous pattern because if you're going back in time no matter what your previous pattern was the day or the day or the week or whatever before it has changed if you go back in time it will always change and then put in your Sunday turnip price go to that Tuesday afternoon it will always start off as your first potential large spike being Tuesday afternoon 100% of the time I have not seen any outliers uh, to that. As long as you put Noah's first time buyer, I don't know as far as your previous pattern. As long as you put in your Sunday price, no matter what your Sunday price is, your first potential will always be Tuesday PM. Skip to Tuesday PM, put in the price. See if you have, as long as you still have that potential large spike, just keep going until the next time frame, whether it's Wednesday PM, Thursday AM, etc. Just go to whatever that next time frame is. One, if you're going forward in time, you don't have to save every single time unless you did something during that play time that you want to have saved. Otherwise, you could just find to the turnip price, log it in your turnip profit, and then cancel the game, turn up, change the time, move on. But if you're going to go from like a Friday back in time to a Sunday, if you aren't going to save, make sure that your starting time on that Sunday is earlier than it was during your previous run. So if your previous run you start at 10 a.m., then start at like 9.58. So at least the game will register that you are going back in time. And then just keep going from there. It is a really, really easy process. You can get unlucky like I did here. This was my seventh try doing this. But you could also get very lucky and you could do it like how I did on stream last night where I got two large spikes at, out of three tries. My first try was I think like two two ninety five or something like that, but then my third try was five oh eight. Now obviously this three forty one isn't fantastic. If it were me, I'd probably keep going, but I don't need bells anymore, and I really, eh, I'm just like I don't care anymore. I just want to do this for the sake of the video. But you can just keep redoing this process over and over again, and you can potentially get those really high turnips. It's just you have it's just a matter of chance and luck. This is not a guaranteed you will get 800 bells for a turn up every single time. It's just a better way to increase your chances. Now, the only requirements for this is that you have to have had bought turnips before and you have to be okay with going back in time. That's honestly, oh, and then also you need turn up profit. Those are the only three things that you need. Oh, maybe patience too. <laughs> uh, my recording's at an hour and 18 minutes so I mean hours not that long but it's just that easy thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions please put them in the comments below I'll answer the best I can I'll put as much as information as I can in the description I'm gonna edit this down so it's boom 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 short and sweet I hate when people talk so much in these how-to videos so it's gonna whip bam boom let's go let's get this video going um 
if you guys want tips or anything else, I'm actually really well versed in the Animal Crossing games. I just don't post any content about it, but I can if you guys are interested. Um, if it's anything about meteor showers or cataloging things or really just anything, um, I will be making a video on uh, proper etiquette and how to how you should act when you're going to other people's islands, especially if you're going for the uh, high turnip price because I've seen people act really cool and people act like really not so cool. Um, and so I'm gonna give like a little like 101 proper etiquette visiting people's islands. Um, Cause I feel like that needs to be touched on. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow my Twitch live stream channel. I do host a lot of large spike um, events. So if you are interested in selling turnips, uh, follow my Twitch channel. I do, I do I do them pretty often because this is just a really easy mechanism. It's a really easy exploit. It's not a cheat. It's really just you playing the game <laughs> but using creative strategy, you know? So follow my Twitch. Follow my Twitter. I also post it uh, on there all the time. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, requests, whatever, put in the comments below. I'll be answering all your comments. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Stay safe. And I'll see you next Tuesday.